Chapter 4 of Battlefield 5's Tides of War, called Defying the Odds, is set to launch in June, so it's still a fair distance away right now, but that doesn't mean we don't know what's coming. Battlefield 5 is certainly lacking maps at the moment, and with Chapter 3 only set to introduce one new multiplayer map, called Mercury, Chapter 4 is where I'm really looking forward to at the moment. Several new maps will be included in this chapter, and more mysteriously, a brand new up close and personal game mode will be introduced as well, taking advantage of several of these maps. According to the official Battlefield website, Defying the Odds will be a chapter that fans of close quarter combat will definitely enjoy. Now, I was a big fan of the Battlefield 3 close quarters DLC, with maps like Zebra Tower and Scrap Metal, some of my favourite maps from Battlefield 3, so I'm definitely interested in these new maps as well. And the chapter will have a new focused 5v5 game mode that's going to take advantage of several of the maps built specifically for the mode. Here's a quote from the website. Stay, fight and accomplish more together with your squad across several battlefields designed exclusively for the mode. More details such as the mode's name will be revealed further down the road. Now, fortunately for us, Temporial, notorious data miner, has uncovered more details about this mode from within the Battlefield 5 game files, unearthing some really interesting points. I'm going to go through all the details I can now, but again, with any video where I discuss unannounced content, it is worth taking this with a pinch of salt because things could change between now and the release. Now, first of all, this 5v5 mode offering is going to use a system called Doctrines to define the different teams. These Doctrines take on the form of different special forces from World War II, and they define what kind of characters and bonuses will be available to your squad. The Doctrines found so far are the SAS Raiders from Great Britain, the Army Rangers from the USA, the Devil's Brigade from the USA, the Volksgrenadiers from Germany, the MSK from Germany, and the Decima Mass from Italy. One of these Doctrines can be chosen by the squad leader before a match starts as a pick for the team, and the other squad members can either agree or disagree with the choice. The squad, as a whole, can confirm a Doctrine by selecting one with a majority vote, whether that's the squad leader's vote or not. If you have a majority, that's going to be your Doctrine. Each of these doctrines comes with three different bonuses for your squad. Right now, these bonuses can't really be linked directly to any one doctrine, but we do have an overall list, which is a bit too long to cover off in this video, so I've put it on the screen for you. But these bonuses will work across all squad members, and that's going to give the team a different dynamic. Fast Fortifications is one of these that allows every squad member to build fortifications in half the time. Recon Plane is another that's going to allow a squad to call in a reinforcement if they earn enough requisition points. Once a squad confirms their doctrine, you move on to classes and kits. Here, the players within the squad are able to choose from a list of options, combining different kits to create a setup for the match. Now, this sounds very much like the Battlefield 1 incursion system, where several kits were available with different weapon and gadget setups for different purposes. And here in Battlefield 5, you can choose kits from five different classes. We have Captain, Assault, Medic, Support and Recon. There are also kit options for vehicle drivers, of which there can only be one in the squad at any time. You have 30 seconds to pick a kit option, or if you don't care, you can choose a random option and the game will just pick for you. As I mentioned, within each kit you will have different gadget options, brand new options for this game mode specifically, that will aid your squad. So an MMG emplacement has been found in the files, seemingly for a support kit so that you can place down an MMG and perhaps deny entry to a certain position. A double barrel flare gun is present as well. One barrel contains a spotting flare to show enemies on the minimap and the other possesses a flash that can be used for blinding enemies. The TN-17 radio jammer is in there. This is going to trigger fake spots for the enemy team on their minimap 
to create some diversion. The Panzerbuchser anti-tank rifle is listed along with breaching charges, the bazooka, the Japanese knee mortar and the anti-tank shaped charge. The M80 firecracker is in there too, a recon class gadget that's going to imitate the sounds of gunfire to confuse the enemy team. And the Kampfpistole, similar to the Sturmpistole, firing anti-personnel charges instead of anti-vehicle charges. A few of those gadgets directly combat vehicles, and as I mentioned, in this 5v5 mode, vehicles will be present and kits will be available for vehicle drivers. Right now, the Panzer 38T, the Panzer IV, the Staghound and the Valentine tanks are listed, and for each Doctrine, they will have their own special variant of the vehicle that fits in with their characters. Now, let's get on to the maps. The 2019 roadmap for Battlefield 5, released a few weeks back, wasn't 100% clear about how this up-close-and-personal game mode was going to work with maps, but the Battlefield website mentioned several maps being supported for it. Now, Tempo Yal has managed to confirm the presence of five different maps currently for this 5v5 game mode, with one of them being the Provence map that we talked about a few weeks ago. The second map is labelled Norway, and I think if this tweet from Alex Grondal, the executive producer for the Battlefield franchise, is anything to go by, we definitely aren't finished with Norway yet. The third map is called Libya, the fourth is Casquettes, and the fifth is Rotterdam, although this is likely to be a different map entirely to the one currently in Battlefield 5 in order to facilitate the 5v5 nature of the mode. As I mentioned at the start of the video, all of these maps will seemingly be based around this 5v5 game mode. They've been bespoke made for this game mode. Now, just to confuse you even more, within this 5v5 game mode, according to the game data, there will be different sub-game modes. So essentially, the 5v5 game mode that's mentioned, it's not a game mode in itself. It's like a, a competitive segment being added to Battlefield 5. And within that segment, there are different game modes that allow 5v5 gameplay. So we have Extraction, Breakthrough, King of the Hill, and Holdout. The first three, I think, are fairly self-explanatory. But Holdout, we do have a little bit of extra information on that. The attacking team has a limited time to raid two supply caches in a sector. Each cache that's secured earns the attacking team a point, whereas the defenders get points for defending the caches. If both caches are secured, the map moves on to the next sector. With the mode having a timer, we can assume that if the timer runs out and the caches aren't secured, the defenders will get some points, and potentially the defenders will win. And within the game files as well, images of a new faction have been located, the Secret Army of France. Right now, we only have these renders of the in-game models, but these could be part of the 5v5 game mode set up in some way, but considering none of the doctrines we spoke about at the start of the video are French Special Forces, then their inclusion is unlikely, and perhaps this is a brand new faction that DICE is looking to add to the main game instead. I thought I'd include this mention anyway, however, since one of the maps in the 5v5 setup is a French one, the Provence map. Okay, that was quite a lot of information and without any real kind of context, I mean, we've got no menus to look at, no map pictures, no kit screenshots, etc. It's really hard to gauge what DICE is trying to put together here, but there's a lot of different elements that, that we can analyse. It's certainly a 5v5 competitive offering with several bespoke maps created to support it, but it's heavily reminiscent of the incursions work that DICE LA did with Battlefield 1. An opinion was heavily split on that because rather than emulating good traits from the base Battlefield 1 experience, the team there, they chose to build out a bunch of new features that complicated things and made it somewhat different from the base game. The kits and classes, for example, you were severely limited in your choice of weaponry and gadgets through the kits, and your freedom to choose how you wanted to play was almost removed. Vehicles are also present in a 5v5 game mode. That massively reduces the density of infantry on the ground. Vehicles also have to be extremely well balanced and not overpowered in order to succeed, which could be an issue when you're asking the general player population to play this game mode. 
You can look at it from another angle, though, where DICE is trying to emulate the success of other competitive shooters. And I'm looking at this scenario they're trying to create here in Battlefield 5, and it reminds me somewhat of Rainbow Six Siege. You've got these doctrines with specific kits. These are like the different nations and operators that you can play as in Siege. And learning each of them with their different weapons and gadgets will likely give you a greater chance to win over the enemy. So I can see it from that point of view as well. Learning all about this 5v5 competitive mode being added to Battlefield 5, it's clear that DICE and EA have a vision for esports in this game's future. Or at least they did when they started developing all this stuff. All the elements are there in a proper spectator mode with broadcast functions, that's in the game already as well. And whilst all this 5v5 info is only taken from the game files and it isn't official, you can see this picture forming in front of you. But I do have a big concern at the moment. Does anyone actually care enough? Does the gaming world care enough about Battlefield 5 to be interested in watching 5v5 competitive tournaments on Battlefield 5? Do the players playing Battlefield 5 care enough to play a 5v5 mode? And what about Squad Conquest, the 8v8 mode that DICE had in Chapter 2? That's coming back in Chapter 3 as well, and that was another small-scale mode with vehicles. Isn't that going to clash with the 5v5 mode? I actually felt that Squad Conquest was almost perfect for Battlefield competitive play. Matches were really tense, and map knowledge was extremely important. Has DICE ended up creating two different competitive experiences for the same game? In my eyes, Squad Conquest was great, but the 8v8 player count isn't ideal when it comes to competitive teams. You need more players to fill the roster, and with that comes added costs for organisations looking to get involved, and more viewpoints needing to be considered when you broadcast matches. So there's a lot to think about when it comes to competitive battlefields, and really until DICE releases some more information about what they are planning with this 5v5 mode for Chapter 4, we're kind of just going to have to wait and see. This 5v5 mode, however, will be present at EA Play in June. It's likely going to be part of some live streams that EA has planned, and I believe people attending will be able to get their hands on the mode as well. So I know June is still a fair distance away, but it's not that far away. It's about two and a half months, so not long until we see some gameplay. But if you have absolutely no care in the world for competitive play or 5v5, there are two brand new standard multiplayer maps coming with Chapter 4. The first one, Marita, the second map coming as part of the Greece location, and that follows on from Mercury in Chapter 3, and the currently unnamed map known as Urban Combat. Players who love their 64-player Conquest Chaos, these are the maps for you. I really want Urban Combat to be a remaster of Operation Metro. Since DICE has already revealed this will be a map that veterans of the franchise will know very well. I can't help but love that meat grinder experience. But that's about it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments section. Let me know what you think about all of this 5v5 stuff. I've got a real concern that it's going to clash with Squad Conquest, which is 8v8. And I'm really not 100% sure if people are that interested in 5v5 Battlefield gameplay. But let me know what you think down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, drop it a like as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.